The pink and black attack is back, baby. Let's go. Geeks was pop and WWE Elite Collection. This is Brett the Hitman Heart. This is a fig from Series 94. Let's take a look at the box. Cool insert. The excellence of execution. And we got the Intercontinental Championship, baby, from back in my days. Yeah, 90s style, early 90s style. Now this is classic Bret Hart. I'm liking the look. I already see he's got some straight paint on his face, but hopefully I can get it off. He's got the cool pink shades that he used to always give away to a kid in the front row. And some big extra mitts to put on him. And right before us, we've got sunglasses, extra hands, and the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, yeah! Oh, my. Now that we got the best it is, the best it ever was, and the best it ever will be out of his packaging, let's go ahead and bask in all of his pink and black glory. While I had him spinning around there, I noticed quite a few QC issues that I am not pleased with. And it's uncharacteristic of Mattel. I haven't really seen much of this on my other wrestling figures, but as you can see, he's got black paint blemishes on his face. And I got some of it off with a little bit of spit. It's probably going to take some nail polish for me to get the rest of it off. Going down his pants, you can see here on the side, paint is chopped up. There's black shine through the white. Scrape there, scrape there. Didn't look on this side yet. This side's okay, but the white is a little bit faded. You can see the black coming through the back here. Yeah, I think that's about it, but I mean, that's enough to complain about. Another thing I'm not liking right off the bat, these bulby shoulders, they're a little bit too round. Don't know why. Oh, look at that black paint on the back. It was just real sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. And I don't know if that's a scratch or paint right next to the star, but you, that shouldn't be there. I think the lightness looks pretty good. I wouldn't say it's 100%, but if you hand it to me, I'd know it was Bret Hart. Long string of hair, works. Almost looks like dreads. All right, 360 on that head. It looks like WWE video game hair from about 10, 15 years ago. Head tilt left, slightly. Head tilt right, slightly. Head dips down, slightly. Very slightly. Head looks up, slightly. Arms go up, yay high. Coming in for a hug. No butterfly shoulders, but wingspan range is decent. Respectable even. Pull that armband down to reveal double jointed elbows that give you good range. Not the spin of Rooney, but you get 360 at that shoulder. You get 360, oop, hold on, hold on. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't wanna be a liar. Gotta hold that. There we go. 360 at the bicep. I'll tell the truth. 360 at the wrist. Nothing at the forearm. Repulsive blast and kiss the ring at the wrist. Full effect. Does have an ab crunch. Not a whole lot going backwards. Alright, so check this out. Now, look here. You can see his waist is turned just a little bit, exposing the bottom half of the toy there. And if you look here, you can see the pink is coming out just a little bit because he's turned. 
but I can't turn his waist. It's like somebody glued it. I mean, not even a little bit. There's no give whatsoever. I don't hear or feel anything. The waist just doesn't turn. I might have to check somebody else's review. Now, like, normally I'm afraid to break my figures, but I'm really turning this with all my strength because I believe it's supposed to turn and it's not. Oh, whoo! Holy moly. There it is. Dude. All right, 360 at the waist. Look at that. A piece of paint came off <laughs> or glue or something from in between there. It's on my finger. You see that? All right, so. 360 at the waist. No intermittent clicks. 360 at the thigh. 360 at the calf. And I'm going to say no 360 at the foot. Nope, because Mattel doesn't like to give us that. There's his bend over. And then a split. Hit me. Bringing the payment all that Rob Van damage. No walk for you. Double joint knees, that's the range if you pull down his knee pads. Knee pads up, it's about the same. A little bit more shallow. Pink and black prancer. Pink and black dancer. You get a slight rock inwards on the feet. Nothing really going to the outside. Stay straight. He clocks in at just under six and a half inches. There he is with Lady Legacies, AKA Stacy Keebler. My guy, Papa Shango. We can recreate WrestleMania, I think it was nine? Yeah, WrestleMania nine with Yokozuna. And it never hurts to have a little edge around. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to render my verdict. All right, this version of Hitman is not the best it is, it is not the best it ever was, and it's definitely not the best it ever will be. He is disappointing me. Oh, look, another paint blemish. So, from far away, like you look at him now, he's gonna look fine on the shelf. But if you're into doing photography, oh, I got his belt on backwards. If you're into photography or just really meticulous about your figures, I'd have to say pass on this one. But then again, you know, with QC, it could be different from figure to figure. Maybe yours will have no paint blemishes whatsoever. But I'm a little bit disappointed. Now, I do have the Ultimate Edition of Bret Hart. He's still in box, and he's somewhere in my pile of shame. I don't have him to compare, but I'm sure that he comes out a little bit better than this. But if you don't have that one, this one might be worth adding to your collection. Because in general, Hitman figures, from what I've seen, go a little bit higher than you'd like on the aftermarket. So this one's fresh. You can get it for 20-something bucks. Hopefully you have better luck with the paint app than I do. But let me know what you think. Am I overreacting? I know you craft guys out there can just take that paint off a little bit of nail polish remover. I'm always scared doing that because I'm afraid I'll drip it on the paint that I don't want to remove and mess it up. I'm very clumsy when it comes to this type of stuff. I don't have a steady hand. I could be just making more of it than it is. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think of this guy. Let me know how stupid you think I am for putting that belt on backwards and not fixing it. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let me know what wrestling action figure you want me to review next. And make sure to share a link to this video with another plastic addicted friend that loves the wrestling like we do. All right, till next time, geek out.